think. If you guys know what's in this bottle right here, comment down below. And if you guys leave a like on this video, I'm going to be giving away exactly one tub of whatever's in this bottle to somebody who comments and leaves a like on this video. Good luck, everybody. I want to thank you guys so much for all this recent support. It seriously makes me like the happiest man in the world. I want to keep this momentum going. I want to keep making fun videos for you guys. And uh, today I thought of a really funny idea, and I think you guys are going to enjoy this video. What I'm going to be doing is uh, reacting and reading some of the comments that I've been receiving about my gray hair over here. So I took some screenshots of some of the funniest comments. I'm just going to read through these with you guys, and hopefully we can have a good laugh together. Let's begin. Why yo shirt match your hair right now? Bro, how does he even know what color shirt I'm wearing? I'm wearing a gray shirt that doesn't even match my hair. Oh my god, bro. I keep forgetting that I have gray hair. It's literally the exact same. Wait, let me get this Gymshark logo in here. It's literally the exact same color. Oh my god, look at that, guys. Be a visionary gymshark.com slash sensor. Baird hair dye can be fixed. A fucked up face can't. <laughs> Remember Danny Phantom? This is him now. Feel it old yet? LOL. I met Sensor at Cedar Beach, Long Island. He's awesome. This Danny Phantom meme is like really, really hilarious. I've been seeing this all over. I don't know how anyone's gonna be able to top it. Let's see what this next comment says. Your hair makes you look like my dead grandpa. N word. If you don't get your top of a brush ass on somewhere. <laughs> you look like a chia pet. So this is a picture of me when I shaved my head bald and it says upgrade and it shows me looking handsome. This was me two years ago with a nice smile, good lighting, nice clean shaven face, upgrade and then it's just me with my, my gray hair and it says fuck go back. What's worse, your hair or your YouTube career? That's really tough. That's honestly a really good question. Both of them suck really bad. When you suck so bad at competitive gaming and get kicked off the team so you have to change your identity slash hair color. Bro, I got kicked off a of phase like two years ago, man. My heart, my heart still hurts from that, guys. You know, I really want to get back in a competitive Call of Duty for World War II. If you guys want to see me back, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Um, that's just me baiting for likes, honestly. Um, I, I'd appreciate if you guys left a like on the video. And if I did come back to competitive Call of Duty, it wouldn't matter how many likes this video got to begin with. But if you guys did leave a like... I seriously, it would make me really, really freaking happy. All right, now we're gonna be stepping it up to some hardcore roast, okay? We're gonna get some juices flowing. We're gonna drink some cherry limeade. Ah, I'm mad. Your hair is as gray as Cod's past four years. Oh! Out here really trying to look like Jorgen Von Strangle. Ah! You look like a buffer version of Rice Gum. Whoa, 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 don't put me in the same category as Rice Gum. I'm not trying to catch any L's here. What are your 50th birthday plans? I see you are planning a little early. Oh, he said I'm 50. Well, almost 50. Your hair makes you look like a more wise version of Albert Einstein, which you're not. Looking fresh, Doug. Yeah. Your hair looks like The Rock from The Lion King. What? There is no resemblance at all. He even took a zoomed in screenshot of my hair and then a zoomed in shot of The Rock from The Lion King. There is no resemblance in anything having to do with this. The rock, the hair, the color, the shape, the size, the premise. There is nothing, literally nothing that resembles one another. These comments are getting a little bit too crazy for me. But in all seriousness though, I think I'm going to keep this hairstyle. I don't think I want to change it. What? I said I, I'm not changing my hair. I'm keeping it. No, you're crazy. You need this armor right now, dog. I'm sorry. No, I don't like that. I'm sorry, but I can't. I need. No, it. let's go right now. Why? <laughs> because I don't die. But me and more. Come on, please. No. Please. Venga, come on, me venga. Why? Ve. What? Come on. What? Why, me and more? <laughs> let's go. Venga. Guys, I don't know. Should I do it? Let's go, dog. Okay. Let's go. You look so terrible. Yes, it's terrible. Let's go. Do we really need to do this? Yes. Let's we, do it. Can we, we just go to the gym? No. I'm ready to make my hair back to normal. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel good. What have you done now? What do you think of my hair, mom?
<laughs> I don't know yet. Let me see it in the light. What do you think? I think it actually looks nice. I'm back to normal? No, normal would be brown. What are you talking this is? This is pretty much normal. What do you mean? <laughs> it's darker than your norm. It's pretty normal to me, I think. It's it's darker. <laughs> it's darker than your norm. Look at that. Give him Look a three side. Well, the side, they can't, they can't do anything about the side because it's like a skin fade. No, it's, I'm saying the color is darker than your norm. But I think it's barely even noticeable. I, I think, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I think you I look, look brand new good. normal. You look more your age now. I look, I'm back, guys. I'm back. It's been a couple of days. It's been like five days, but I'm finally feeling like myself again, man. Look what Mimi did. What happened? You can show your view as your dog. Mimi, is it true that you did all this? You did all of this in my mom's house? Look at this, the dog's partied. When she comes, everybody goes wild. Damn, look at all that. So for those of you guys who stayed here for the beginning of the video with the reaction to the comments or or just the, the, the little skit I put together with putting my hair back, or if you just clicked on the video because you saw Rice Gum in the picture with me, I even hit him up, I was like, yo bro, like I know this is some serious clickbait right here, but I don't have a really good thumbnail for this video. He's like, yo, do your thing, bro, I got you, man. So uh, if you guys want to leave now, that's cool, but I really wanted to just sit down and have a real good, heart to heart with you guys and just say thank you so much for all the support. Honestly, in this past week and a half, 10 days, I've never seen so much support on my YouTube channel. This is the most watched, most subscribed, most interactive my channel has ever been in my life. And I know a lot of it has to do with that Sniper Wolf drama that went down and that's okay. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't put my, you get, I'm not even going to address that. Like it's over, it's in the past, but I just want to let you guys all know how appreciative I am and how good it feels because to be completely honest with you guys, these past few months have been really tough on me. To be honest with you, like just the house and Yannette's foot being broken and having to recover from that and my YouTube channel really slowing down to like a screeching halt, like as slow as I've ever seen it before. It was scary for me and I pushed through it. I never had a negative attitude. I didn't cry about anything. I sat down and I tried to come up with something fun and new every single day to do. And I see a lot of YouTubers kind of going through a depression, going through that cycle, and I could see how that would affect certain people, but I like to believe that I have really strong willpower, and I don't try to think and cave into negative thoughts, and I just really could just push through and say, Doug, you gotta go to work, you just gotta get it done. And that's what I've been doing, and to go through that struggle for those last few months, to see my channel really go down, and to see it come back up and go as high as it has ever come, just shows you that, you know, it's kind of like that meme where you see the guy like digging into the side of a cave, and he's just digging at it. He's digging at it. He's digging at it, trying to find a piece of gold. And he can't find that gold. And then he decides to quit at the last second. And then you see the gold is like that close to you. That really relates to anything in life. That relates to my YouTube channel. That relates to you guys at home who play a sport or are trying to be a professional Call of Duty player. Or if you're trying to do anything, if you're trying to be a big YouTuber. I know there's so many of you guys out there today who are watching YouTube more than ever, who aspire to be a YouTuber. It's honestly all about perseverance. No matter how small you are right now, no matter how negative your comments are no matter how bad things are right now you have the power to change that surround yourself with people that are going to push you and lift you up and be that change be that person because throughout my life all people in my life have told me I couldn't do it I couldn't do it besides from my obviously like my family and my close friends but everyone always told me I wasn't be able to do anything and I couldn't make something and I was like you know what I'm gonna make something of myself and now to be at 2.4 million subscribers is absolutely crazy. I set a goal of 3 million subscribers um, when this year started because I hit 2 million on January 2nd and I wanted to hit 1 million more by December 31st, or I guess January 1st of 2018. Now, we're, we're a little bit far off of that. We still got some time left, um, but I'm definitely gonna push as hard as I possibly can to do that. I'm gonna do as many collaborations with as many people. Like, YouTube is my main focus. I am really busting my ass every single day to do the best I can to make the best videos because right now I am just in this grind mode and I want to really do things that are fun and interactive with you guys. It's a little bit difficult because I don't really have any YouTubers at all around me so to do everything alone or with my close friends and family sometimes it can be tough because people have schedules like my, my whole everyone in my life is grown up like everyone has a real job now we're not like any kids anymore where we have free time to just do things all the time but I'm really trying my best and I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already because I've never seen so 
many subscribers in the past 10 days. Like, it is amazing. I want to keep that support up as long as I possibly can. And please, honestly, I know I was joking around the beginning about liking the video. I seriously want to come back to COD. Um, we'll see what happens, though. But if you guys do leave likes on my videos, it really means a lot to me. Leaving positive comments, leaving encouraging comments, motivational comments, it really motivates me to be a better person every day and to bring you guys better content. And um, it's really just one big community that we have with each other. So I got all of your backs, and I appreciate you guys always having mine. And I just want to end the video saying thank you. It, uh, it means a lot to me, and I'm just going to try the best I can every day to be the best I can be. And I hope you guys can do the same as well. So I just want to end it on like a little heartfelt note. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys all have a great night. I'm sorry for uploading so late. I promise, <laughs> I promise in my life it's not going to happen again tomorrow. And it's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace.